What's going on everyone? Jamma John back here and today we're going to be talking about Vegeta and Ultra Instinct. So for those of you who are all caught up with Dragon Ball Super, you know that Goku has used Ultra Instinct twice now, once against Jiren and once against Kefla. And while Vegeta has seen it happen both times, he believes that he will be able to actually master it before Goku does. While Goku has been the first to achieve these forms, Vegeta has always been right behind him, including learning to obtain Super Saiyan Blue without needing the ritual. Vegeta and Goku are very different fighters. As mentioned by Whis earlier in the series as well as the Resurrection F movie, Vegeta is always focused and will never give his body a break, as well as trying to calculate which attack will do the most significant damage, whereas Goku will try to rest in any chance that he can get. I believe that Vegeta will be unlocking Ultra Instinct in this tournament. When, I do not know just yet, but I think he will eventually and his transformation will be a tad different than Goku's. Here's what I think is going to happen. Because Vegeta is so much more used to his body and calculating every single hit, when he lets his Ultra Instinct take over, he will be able to do a lot more significant damage than Goku could at his state. I do think Vegeta will also have a pretty easy time being able to dodge attacks as well, but I think his downside is that because he's going to be calling so much energy to his body in such a short spurt, he's going to be a lot more trouble for which enemy he faces at his power level, but he will not be able to keep his stamina going for too long, and Goku only had it last for a short period of time as it is. All in all, I believe Vegeta can obtain this state and achieve this form as well, but in a very short amount of time, even after seeing Goku's transformation. I think that because Vegeta is a lot more of an offensive fighter, I think he's going to be able to do some significant damage if he faces Jiren or Topo, whoever it may be. But I do believe that his transformation is not going to last even nearly as long as Goku's, which did not last that much time as is. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or questions about anything, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more content, and uh, thank you for watching.